Hi, so I did a really, really bad review of uh, the app called <coughs> Symphony Pro, if I remember the name a second. So I thought I'd redeem myself and do a better one. Um, and so here I am with my, my iPad. I've got this pen I bought, a Hi-U pen, and my iPad Air. It's not an iPad Pro. I'm not yet that rich. And I'm going to open up the app for Symphony Pro. Here we go. So. You should see the app on this side of the screen. My pen makes it a lot easier for me to to write, um, much easier to write Symphony Pro than it does with my finger. It's a bit dark in here, but I'm not all that professional down with those lights and things. So right here, I have um, the app. I have a song. Let's just say, let's just rename it second. By doing by tapping on it, I can rename it. So already it's easier than uh, than Sibelius in some ways. And one of the things you have to get used to is the different tool types in Symphony Pro. Down here on the bottom, you have like a pen tool to enter things in by the pen, which is kind of cool actually. Sometimes I default to that because it's a bit more accurate than using your finger sometimes. And I, as I said, the screen isn't it's not Symphony Pro size, but it still works in the way you'd want it to with your finger. Okay, let's put the other tool up. Now I'm going to use the pen tool and I'm going to bring you into another angle. So I'm going to pull this up and with my pen I'm going to select all those notes and delete them straight away. Very simple. Just use my pen, my high stylus, or you could use your finger and then you can select them all and delete them all. The next thing you can do very easily is you can Start writing notes, and this is where this becomes very beautiful. Let's just say that we did it. Actually, the best view would be to turn it and have a larger size to work on. But the problem is here, I don't, I can't show you on one side of the screen, and then have my my hand. But in theory, vertical um, is not as good as horizontal when you're writing on this. Um, it's good for seeing more music, but it's not good for writing. So let's do the, let's do horizontal. So I've got my horizontal scroll view, and let's do a C, an E, and a G. And an F. Did you see that? They got the C right. They got the F wrong. They got the G right and the F right. So that's nine more than. Uh, 75% correct. So that's, I can select all of those. I can move them up. Well, in the case of that F, which I can move that one note up and down by, by drawing a circle around it, selecting it, and then that can change it. C. Now I'm gonna, there's my my full note. See the note values and the writing is very simple. It's not very difficult to do. And let's just say in the right hand I wanted to do a C minor chord. I could do a C whole note, E whole note, G whole note. But even with my snowman, it still gets it, and it works out it was a C chord. Let's just say. So that was supposed to be a C, but actually that C, which in my mind was a C, and um, was supposed to be, was supposed to be C, is probably, if somebody read that, if I gave it to a human being, they'd probably read it as a B, because of how, how uh, much of it is on the line for the B. So I can't blame the software for that. And that's something that I've been finding here, um, that's been a good thought point for me, was, is, um, The question I ask myself is, when I what is better, writing on paper where it's faster, a bit faster, and, and there's no zooming in, zooming out like this. You have to zoom in and out to see the whole thing, and then it's too small to read because it's not big enough, 
Or is it because I didn't even know if I was writing the right note or not? When I played it back, I was like, was that a B, was that a C? So I can't blame the software for doing that here. And uh, you have to get used to drawing on the lines. <laughs> uh, triplets, things like that, they, they're a bit hard on here. Let's try a triplet. Oh, there you go. I'm surprised myself. Now, playback is pretty good on here. So, if I go to the beginning, with a kind of back to the beginning, press play. And then, if I want to play from a certain bar, all I have to do is click on that bar and press play. Obviously, I have. If I hold and click these notes, I get rests, different rests. And if I. Um, if I want to make them dotted, I have dots here. How many dots do you want? I mean, you, basically, usually, I've, you probably usually only want two or three, you know, unless you're a really advanced composer. If you're doing it as a hobby or... Anyway, I don't want to say what you can and can't do, but the normal thing you need is one dot, two dots, three dots, might be all you need. And I'm sure there's other ways to get other dots. Every single menu opens up more menus. If I click on it, each menu, opens up new menus. One of the only difficult things I've found on this app is if you press, say if I press this G here and then I press the A and I want to join it to the next note, it doesn't always get it. Oh, it got it. It's trying to play with me because I'm showing it to you but often I find I struggle with that. And the other thing that, that you have to do is sometimes it's not natural like paper. It's very rare that I feel like I prefer paper to this. They have crescendos here. If you press the dynamics, if I zoom in on that, I should be able to edit it. Let me just. Should be able to edit that. Got pedal markings. You can put those in. Pedal endings. You can put drag around. Let's do another pedal marking. So clearly you can see I'm not a professional composer by any means. I am just an amateur, um, total amateur, confessed amateur. So what I've showed you here is just sort of a, just a brief intro into, and um, just a brief overview of the app. All right, now I have to go and do the lessons, uh, grade some exams for my students at Instituto Cancion, which is a Spanish speaking music school here in Houston. So I hope you've enjoyed that quick look at the app. And if I get time, I'd compare it to Kawhi's no touch notation, which is really, really good, but it's really, really stubborn. <laughs> and I think Symphony Pro wins, but we'll definitely have a look at that in the future. Thank you for watching.